Hello, Sagittarius. My name is Psyche Touré, and welcome to your weekend shuffle. This week I am using a Visionary Tarot, an older deck of mine. A lot of decks have the word vision in them, but this one's an oldie but a goodie. So if you noticed, I already have two cards laid out for you. Why is that? Well, I meditate with every sign, and then I get the message. And this morning, I had the message to pick out a lead card for every sign. But this time, you had two lead cards. Woohoo! So two big messages before we get into picking out any more cards for you. Okay, so the first card I see that we have pulled out for you, Sagittarius, is the Eight of Wands reversed. Okay, let's look at this in the upright position, shall we? And we're noticing there's a lot of contemplation going on, a lot of thinking, and wands, you're that healing, nurturing energy. You can see sacral chakra stuff with all the color of orange going on, or uh, not sacral, excuse me. Um, no, it is sacral. I was thinking upper. Never mind. So I'm just going there. So uh, it is in reverse. So perhaps we need to feel things out and take a little more time and contemplate what we're doing. Okay, followed by the Three of Swords. Whew. Well, that's a heavy card, Sagittarius. So followed by that card, it's just saying, you know, put a fork in me, I'm done. I've got this, this, and this going on. And you're noticing the one in the background slain already just to get what you're going after in this skull here with the woman, a lot of black and, or excuse me, a lot of green and red. So there needs to be some healing apparently. And then there's a lot of stuff going on with the uh, root chakra with anger and passions and grounding. So let's see what else the message is for you this week, Sagittarius. Uh, the reason I am doing it like this, you can see how I do read. I do not shuffle cards like like a playing deck or a blackjack dealer or anything like that. I go kind of quietly and by feel. So this was your next card, and it is the Ten of Swords. Whew, heavy card again. More swords dealing with being done with situations. Um, next, going in. And here we have the emperor. Okay, so the emperor is rules, regulations, sometimes judicial, legal matters. That's number four in the tarot. And okay, I felt it pulling, pulling, pulling. Here we go. Okay, nine of swords. All right. Kind of a heavy week, Sagittarians. But, you know, try to remember, uh, not it's not all a done deal just yet. It's just saying, you know, we're coming to the end of something. Maybe this is, I had to pull another one. Sorry, just had to. I felt like you needed a bigger message here, okay? So we have the three of coins. There's another three, just like over here with the three of swords. So let's see what we have as I'm looking at your cards. Okay. Not everything is so black and white, Sagittarius. Not everything's so etched in stone. All right. Try to put a little bit of thought and compassion into your words and your actions this week. Forgiveness seems to be the key because it's like doing things in and almost making terrible endings. So we got to let that go and start with the, with the self and renewal and let go of some of these bad memories or heavy bad moments. Give some leeway to some other people who deserve it. You'll get the reward from that. It's about um, sometimes too much on the plate and too much thinking and analyzing and everything is not so mm, 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 like structured that way. Um, some things that need structure, maybe we're not put in the structure there because we're so focused on other things. Like maybe there's rewards, financial matters and such. So 
And I say maybe sometimes because it just, it gives a little edge for you to understand that it could be this area, it could be that area. Well, it's not, you know, a very specific reading for each individual. This is general readings. So you have to remember that and realize that when you are giving Sagittarian, because you have the way to be a giver, you have that nature in you. And I chose six cards. I was going to go with five, but six is actually the number of master plan and the number of family and the new plan that lies ahead, structure and organization and planning. Yes. Calm after the storm. So see, we are weathering the storm a bit. Yes. So if you like what you heard, if you'd like to know a little more about your situation, please visit me on my website, venusandvelvet.com. Click and on the links below in social media to follow me daily on messages and information. As well as don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I wish you well this week, Sagittarian. Till then, namaste.